Hey guys, it's Link Plays Games. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a quick, very quick video. Um, kind of talking about something that's like really been pressed on me here lately. Because like, oh my god, people like aggravate me. Because they think that just because they do something, it means it's the right way of doing it. And it's not always true. There's so many different walks of life. And so many different truths of the world that yeah maybe in the south it's not normal to say you guys or pop or anything down here it's y'all and coke and soda and whatnot but where I'm originally from it's you guys it's pop you know with even co-workers, they'll be like, oh, don't do it that way. This is the right way of doing it. And then somebody else will go, no, that's not the right way. This is the right way of doing it. So-and-so's an idiot. And I'm like, whoa, hey, does it make the same result? Do you guys both get to the same fucking page? Same destination? Okay, so your way is right, but also hers. Shut up. Like, it makes me so mad when people get fussy over the right way of things but it has the same result in the end it's the same damn thing regardless of the process of getting there you know i had to move you guys because i wanted to be able to have the air on me and if i turn the air up which i need to turn a little bit higher up but anyways if i turned the air up and had you guys still sitting right there it would have been really loud for you guys but, um, like I said, my thing is, as long as you guys have the same results and it means the same thing, it, it's going to be the same regardless, there's no reason to fight over what's right and what's wrong if it's both right in some sort of sense. It may not be right for this area, like, in terms of phrases, but so what? Like, I had a customer the other day fuss me over saying you guys. And she's like, uh, we're ladies. And I was like, yes, ma'am. And she's like, then why'd you say you guys? Because there's multiple people at this table and I was addressing all of you. Well, why don't you just say y'all? Because I don't say y'all. I'll say it in context or like because someone else said it, but I don't say y'all. I don't, it just, it don't feel right to me. To me, it's you guys. It's pop. It's, you know, over there, not over yonder. Though I will say, I say I'm fixing to, or I got to go put something up. You know, if I were to stay like very true to one way or the other, it'd be, you know, y'all pop put it away, uh, I'm about to, stuff like that. If I was gonna, you know, stay to the other side, it'd be y'all, uh, coke or soda, uh, fixing to, uh, you know, whatever. It just aggravates me how people think they're just right in everything they do and that anything different from what they do is wrong. Like, no, baby. It may be an easier way of going about things that may also be the right answer, but it doesn't necessarily make it the right answer, you know? Um, I don't know, it's just so frustrating to me to see people go, oh, oh I'm right, I'm perfect, I, I'm, like, the law of... Really? If you're always right all the time and, you know, you have all the right answers and you're so perfect and you could do no wrong, then why didn't you go to Harvard? Why didn't you God? Like, hold on. You know all the answers. You know everything. And you're always right and so perfect and can do no wrong. Then, my God, why aren't you running the world? 
Why, why aren't you going into politics? We could use you. We need all the right answers nowadays. You know, can you answer this? How do we fix gas prices? How do we, how do we uh, fix the world for our kids and grandkids? You know, like, since you know it all, might as well share, you know? How do we solve world hunger? You can't, because you don't know all the answers. Nobody knows all the answers. So, don't be acting like you do. Don't talk down to people because you do something better than them or the right way compared to them. If the results are the same and the meaning is the same, then it's the same. It don't matter what you do differently. I don't know why that's been irking me so bad here lately. Like, that has been one of like my biggest pet peeves with people because I've had so many just kind of like get snippy with me and like, you know, whatever. If you're one of those people who do get kind of snippy about it, uh, can you do me a favor and just chill out and shut up? Like, take a second, realize that you're not all knowing. That way may be easier to you, but it may not be easier to the other person because we have different ways of thinking and processing and like reflecting in our brains because we're not all the same person. So you may have a XYZ brain, but some people have ZYX. And you know, that's the beauty of being individual and being separate people and not the same person is we all function in some different way. You know, like, yeah, there are people who may function the same way you do, but they don't walk and talk the same way you do, or they may have the same belief system as you do, but have a different accent from you. My thing is just love people, love our differences and, uh, keep being awesome guys. And if you guys have any phrases that's in your area that you wouldn't say anywhere else. Tell me. I, I want to know. I want to hear all the cool phrases. Um, especially if you, like, say something differently than how everyone else says it. Like, growing up, I got roasted for saying room. Like, living room. Instead of room. And the kids were freaking brutal on that one. Or elementary, elementary. That was wonderful uh crick and creek oil and oil see it sounds the same to me and i'm probably saying it the same way but oil and oil around here it's oil i need some oil in my car or fire and fire like it's it drives me crazy when people are like, no, it's this, not that. Guys, chill out. It's not that deep. You're literally taking a conversation and setting it on fire. <laughs> like, you said that shit ablaze because you don't like the way someone says fire. What does it matter? Do you know what I mean? Like, if you genuinely don't understand what I mean, Ask me, and I will try to explain it better or say it in a different way for you to get the context of it. But if you're doing it to be a prick, go on somewhere. Like, I feel like a lot of people need to grow up a bit on that one because it's so ridiculous to me. I deal with so many people every day, and it's always like, I at least have, for every five people, I have at least one person in that five who gets fussy about that shit. Guys, that's my 10 minute little TED talk rant video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.